welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Clarita D. How you guys doing? I hope you're doing nice and today is Sunday. And I'm pre-filming this because I have some things to do on Sunday. So, hence, I'm filming it the day before Saturday night. And yes, Saturday night, if you hear a sound in the background, I have the AC on and I have the ceiling fan up and running. Today is an unbagging of two bags so I'm gonna hurry up and do this because I need to tell you guys something else besides the, the unbagging itself so let's start with this one you see I ordered from Amazon two bags it's the same bag but different material so same bag different material um, one is the totes. Okay, I'm gonna seal completely. So let's do this right here. Okay. And it comes with dust bag. Yay! Even this one comes with dust bag. You see, guys? Yes. This one is on the pretty pink. Yes. This is the dupe. Or inspired on Mark Jacobs right here there's another youtuber that she has also a dupe for Mark Jacob also in pink I'll link her down below she's the pink chick that lady so uh, she's so funny and I like to watch her videos she also have a very similar bag, almost similar. The only difference between this bag is it says Mark Jacob down here, and that's a fake. But some people prefer to, and it has a blue lining over here. This one don't have that. It, it's completely pink, as you can tell. This one has the zipper. Has two pockets in the back back here. Has the strap. The strap is not pink. The dupe that she has, that, that she has a strap. She, I don't know where she put the strap, or she, what color is the strap, her strap. But this one, the strap is black instead of pink, and you can use it as a crossbody bag. Yes, this one is trying to say the Mark Jacobs on the tag, but no, doesn't say Mark Jacobs anywhere else. So the minute that you take this off, guess what? It's just an inspired bag like any other. Well, not like any other, but just like this. And you guys gonna tell me you're wondering, oh, this is a little bit different. It's darker silver, kind of like a gun metal, but I love it. It has something that supports a little bit this. And I'm loving it. All right, so let's go to the measurements quickly. Measurements from one side to another is 12, 12 inches, guys. The width of the bottom, four and a half from this top to the bottom of the bag. My grandbabies laugh when I, both of them whenever I say whoops. They laugh. They, they For them, it's cracking them up. I don't know, like tickling them. Okay, this one is 10 and a half. Give it a take. And from the handle to this part over here, it's like about 5 inches. 5 inches. This is bag number one. This bag cost me 20 something dollars with shipping and handling 30 something. This one, also another Amazon find. And guess what, guys? I'm scared to open up here like this. Okay, let me see if I can get to it. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, another bag. 
also pink. Let's see. Guess what? Yep. The totes. And that's it. <laughs> this one cost me $19.99. So it's basically 20, 20 bucks. Also has with a zipper. Came with the zipper. To open it up. Has as instead of the two pockets has a zipper pocket inside and this I like much better than the two open pockets and this also I like this better it has a pink strap which you know this girl I probably be exchanging this strap between one and the other all right this one unlike the other one the other one the bottom is more sturdier this one is not that sturdy so it's flimsy but if it doesn't have one thing, it has something else. Okay, so let's take the measurements quickly on this one too. From one end to the other. This one is a little bit bigger. This one is a 14 inches. The width of the bag is the same, five and a half. From the top to the bottom of the bag, it's 11 inches, guys. So it's a little bit tiny bigger than the other one. From the top to the top portion of the bag, eight and something else, a little bit more, like a quarter or something like that. So, yeah. It's a little bit bigger. So I'll do another day what fits on both of them because it's kind of late. And I wanted to talk to you about something. Today I was looking on Pinterest and I was shocked to see something that I was like, what? And um, guess what? I saw this in Pinterest. I don't know how. I probably have to tone down this so you can see it. Maybe no. Okay, let me see. Something goes on a little bit like. You know what? I'm gonna read it. But it's from Pinterest. Brands told for women designer, woman handbag, luxury, mate, PU, leather shoulder, crossbody bags, either fake leather or let me turn this a little bit up because it's kind of dark in here without me or for $150 the same freaking this clear bag that I have here oh $150 i have got this one for $20 what's wrong with you people uh, I mean for real they have not only that they have um you see not this one they have this this is the pink one that I show you guys this is my canvas sole that I have right here they have it on a lighter pink maybe and the lighter pink they have it here for $66.99 in another company a $66.99 is fine because this bag is 20 something almost $30 but rough and it, give it a take, very basically almost double it plus the shipping. Um, I don't mind. I'm a business person myself. I do not the same. I basically I, I buy a product. I change up the product a little bit, add up a couple things, and then I resell it. But these people, they don't resell. They don't add nothing to a product. They just buy it, bam, and throw it over there the same way as it came in the factory, same exact way. But this product you can't buy it from Amazon, DH, um, AliExpress, buy a quarter of the price what they are selling them, or even they try to sell it like three or four times over what they really cost. 
and that's why it really <laughs> gets me that you're trying to fool people or what so please whenever you guys go to buy one of the bags and you see something very pretty on Pinterest or whatever website take a look do a Google image search and find out if that you can find that same bag somewhere else cheaper because they probably buy from that company whoop, and um, drop ship I think it's called like that drop ship and sell it to you like it was something born please don't, don't fall for that I mean I am all into be entrepreneur and everything in like the bag that I got last last time last video um, that bag without embellishment and nothing plain as it is it costs around twelve thirteen dollars the person put her time shall I put her time and uh, into making it prettier and, and adding accessories that costs money and her time and her labor costs money so therefore she came up with a different product to sell and that justifies the price that I bought it but never just slapping it as it is from the factory straight to the person's triple the price mm -mm. I don't I really don't like that so <laughs> that's it guys thank you for watching me I mean yes uh, this is something that I, I don't appreciate that you know it's like trying to see a customer think their customers are full we, we, us girls are full they don't think we're gonna be shopping around I don't know the thing is that you guys when you buy see something please shop around don't get the first thing you like oh I like this let me go get it no just shop around and you find out probably another place that is cheaper the same product okay so that's it thank you guys for this you know thank you guys for the comments I love you I love you guys so much please be careful please take care of each other please write me I have my PO box I haven't had just besides one maybe letter um, PO box I'll link I'll put it down below in the description box 110033 Cleveland Ohio 44111 guys write me send me cards if you have a business send me your business so I can shout out to it like I did for Charlotte like I did for for Jimena Angel on her on their business okay guys so love you guys so much Mwah. bye bye take care